Hello and welcome to Easy Ecom. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the process of marking B2C order returns in Easy Ecom for the starter plan. Before we get started, let us quickly talk about Easy Ecom's B2C order return management process for the starter plan. Marking order returns in the starter plan ensures that you only sell returned inventory products that meet your quality standards. This plan is most suitable for small and medium-sized businesses who do not maintain large inventory levels and can easily locate inventory items at their warehouse without having to assign shelves in the system. Now that you are aware of what exactly B2C order return management for the starter plan is, let us understand the process of marking order returns in detail. You can mark order returns either one by one or in bulk. Let us first walk through the process of marking returns one by one. This method comes in handy when you have to mark order return for a single order. To mark order returns one by one, enter the returned order's ID in the search orders bar. Once you click on the order ID you will be redirected to the order details page, here click on returns. In case you have received the returned order goods at your warehouse select the confirm return option. However, if you are only notified by your customer that they want to return the goods, select the initiate return option. The initiating return process is explained in the B2C order initiate return video. For now, let us continue with the process of marking B2C order returns in cases where you have received the inventory back at your warehouse. Set return date and select return reason, then select the product that has been returned and its inventory count here. If the returned inventory meets your quality standards, enter its quantity in the good column. Or else, enter the returned inventory item in the bad column. You can also upload an image of the returned product here for your team's reference. The system will now automatically list the inventory items that were recorded in the good column across your sales channels. Your team can later on view a downloadable returns report to identify returns from all marketplaces and know the exact reasons for the returns. This will help your team take corrective measures like improving logistics, upgrading your product quality, etc. to avoid future returns. You can also download the StatusWise stock report to identify the quality check status for your inventory. Moving on, let us talk about how to mark B2C order returns in bulk in the system. This method comes in handy when you have to mark returns for multiple orders. To mark return orders in bulk, click on the plus icon and select add B2C returns in bulk and download the B2C returns template file. In this Excel file, you need to compulsorily enter either your suborder number, tracking number, or order number. Other mandatory columns are return date, add inventory, and quantity. You can also fill in other details like amount, item serial, return reason, SKU name, and gate pass number if required. Once updated, upload this file to Easy Ecom. That's it. You have now marked B2C returns in bulk. If you find it difficult to locate inventory items at your warehouse, we suggest you upgrade to the growth plan and take advantage of tracking inventory at the shelf level. In case you have any questions, write to us at care at easyecom.io. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get weekly updates on how to streamline your e-commerce operations with Easy Ecom.